Good afternoon from Brussels. I would like to congratulate ISA on so successfully organizing this online workshop, in spite of all the hurdles and roadblocks thrown up by COVID-19. The European Green Deal calls for a transformation of our economies in order to address the biodiversity crisis and make Europe the world's first carbon neutral economy by 2050. The digital economy and renewable energy production will require a lot of so-called critical raw materials and ensuring their supply. The European Commission has done in-depth studies on the challenges facing Europe connected to critical raw materials. But it also firmly believes that seabed mining should only start once the effects of deep sea mining on the marine environment, biodiversity and human activities at sea have been studied and researched sufficiently and all possible risks are understood. On this point, we have been putting our money where our mouth is. Over the past decade, EU funds have been supporting a number of research projects on the ecological impact on, of seabed mining and on methods to make the mining itself less impactful, such as MIDAS, blue mining, blue nodules and robust. In the same vein, we are financing the project supporting the Atlantic ramp, which provides an important platform for ISA in convening today's workshop. Started in 2018, the project seeks to provide scientific building blocks for the Regional Environmental Management Plan, which ISA is drawing up for the North Atlantic Mid-Ocean Ridge. Already, the project has produced a Regional Environmental Assessment Report, which, as many of you will remember, was unveiled at the previous workshop in the Atlantic Ramp series at Evora last year. We were very pleased to hear that the assessment has been appreciated for its high quality and that ISA intends to publish the RIA report as its technical study series. We hope that it will act as a benchmark also for other mid-ocean ridges. Today you will be using the RIA report as a source for informing management approaches, including the application of area-based management tools. This could be an important step towards ISA's environmental policy framework, which is robust, in line with international commitments and containing strong and enforceable environmental standards, including prior environmental impact assessments. That's the kind of framework that we in the European Commission see as an essential precondition for any kind of mineral exploitation. So, on behalf of the European Commission, I wish you a successful and productive meeting. All the best. <laughs>